Come on. Video number two of the Firebird. There's my helper for the day, Bella. You want to say hi to the camera? No? Hola. Soy Bella. That, that works. Um, yeah. Today, Bella is going to be learning about spark plugs. We're going to learn how to gap spark plugs and how to tell if a plug is bad or followed out or whatever. So we're going to be doing that. See so, spark plugs. Yeah. Yeah, spark plugs, you can be an expert pretty soon. Now, get the spark plug loosened up. Sometimes it's easier after you break it loose to just take the break. This plug here is all dirty. It's covered with you know, black stuff. Like so. Not sure how well you can see it on the camera here, but the whole top of the plug, electrode and everything is all dark black. Probably because it's just dirty. It needs a wash. Yeah, it usually means that the ratio of air and fuel going into the engine is wrong. Sometimes it's too lean, sometimes it's too rich. And in this case, I'm going to say it's running way too rich. Mm. So, I'm going to check some of the other plugs and it looks like we're going to be replacing spark plugs which we will gap those plugs and not the old ones. What we do, spark plug tools. So you see they got these little numbers here. You want to pay attention to the number on the top, the like point zero zero six. And you just take, you know, two, three of them, you add them together. So you got point zero one six. actual calculator mode? This is a calculator mode. Alright, so we got, let's say, 0 0.01, you know what, you can just ignore the point and the zero. We got 16 and 17, so we got 10 and 10, that's 20, and then 7 plus 6. What is that? Thirteen. Um, how long does it mean? About thirty-three. Yep. Good. So if you put these two together, and you put it, you gotta put it right through there. You see that? Right between the, the electrode. And this. So if it's tight, then that means your gap is. 0.033 basically but it's not tight so this one is gapped a lot bigger than that so I'm going to try a different combination here I'm going to try Yep. It's obvious. Alright. Well, that was a pretty.
take the guess here because now it's tight and we're using 0 0.20 or a 0 0.020 and 0 0.024 so that means this plug is currently gapped at 44 and that is too much gap for what I need for this engine so if we if we were reusing these plugs I would push down this top piece and make the gap closer so this would be closer to that which is called the electrode and then we would regap it for a tighter fit but because we're not going to reuse these plugs we're not going to regap these plugs we'll gap the new plugs once we get them and here we are we are back another thing that uh, we were learning today is the difference between a posi rear differential and a open diff you know one wheel wonders we like to call them so Bella what if I spin this wheel this way which way is the other wheel spinning? The same way this one is. That's right. That's because this has what kind of a rear diff? Does that mean, does it mean open diff or posi? Posi. That's right. We got a posi rear diff. So we'll look under here. Posi rear diff. That's a good thing because that means that when I get this thing back on the racetrack, put some good tires on it, it's going to grip off the line really, really good and it's hopefully going to smoke everybody that I race against. But not trying to sound cocky or anything, but this is a quick car, especially once I get it back to the way it was before. But all in good time. In the meantime, we'll have fun working on it.